Today, we're playing Scenario 2 in the Explorers and Pirates Catan Expansion, and it's called Pirate Layers. So make sure that you have played Scenario 1, Land Ho, before you try to play this game. Because Land Ho walks you through how to move settlers on your ships and what a harbor settlement is um, and ex explains all of those pieces and the pirate layers adds a few more different items so it's important to know how to play land ho first before you play this one so in the pirate layers there is a mission board And there is a victory point. So each player has the circle tokens and you will start on the S and every time you defeat the pirates which we'll go through later you move up and whichever area your token is on that's how many victory points you have. If your token is the furthest ahead, you get the extra victory point card. If red lands on top, blue would still get that victory point card because they are on the bottom, which means they were there first. So this is just for extra victory points for defeating the pirates. There are six gold mines in this scenario. On the back, they have the green moons and the orange suns, just like in Land Ho. So these will be upside down you will not know that they are a gold mine. If you build a settlement on a gold mine, you do not get to choose a resource of your choice, but instead you're going to get two gold coins every time your number is flipped. These are pirate tokens. When a pirate or when a gold mine, when a gold mine is found, a pirate layer is placed on top. The pirate layer then has to be defeated, which we'll go through once everything, once the board is set up, because it will make more sense. Once it's defeated, you flip it over and that gold mine will now produce two gold every time a five is rolled. There are also crews. Crews are used to defeat the pirate layers. Three crews on one hex means the pirate layer has been defeated. You get the crews out to the pirate layers by using your ships. Unlike the settlers, which take up the whole space, I'll lay it down so you can kind of see. So the, the settlers take up the whole ship. The crew, on the other hand, you may fit two crew members on one ship. So you can take them out together. Crew are worth one rock and one sheep. It says that on your building cost card here. And the last thing is a pirate ship. So each color gets a pirate ship, not to be mistaken with your ships that carry things. 
When a seven is rolled, the pirate ships, if I roll a seven, I would place my pirate ship on a water hex, like so. If another ship of a different color wanted to come onto the hex, so say here, that player would owe blue one gold coin. That one gold coin would maneuver the orange player all the way around. But if orange wanted to move a second ship, another gold coin would have to be paid. And we'll explain more of that once the board is set up because it's even easier to explain the chasing away of the pirate ship and all that fun stuff once the board is set up and you can see everything. So we're gonna go ahead and pause it and we're gonna set up the board and we'll show you how to place and then we'll show you a little bit more about the pirates and a little bit more about the pirate layers. helpers here to explain a few things before we place. So the first thing that we're going to explain is the pirate layers. So for this purpose we're going to pretend that this hex here is a gold mine. So I take my ship out here, it flips over, it's a gold mine is to place a pirate layer on top of the hex. You have discovered it, therefore you get automatically two gold. You can see that right there on the pirate layer. Next thing you need to do is you need to, at your harbor settlement, start building crews. That's these little guys here. Two of them will fit in your harbor settlement. It's kind of their little waiting space. Then you'll come back with your ship. You'll pick them up. Again, they will both fit onto your ship. And you take your little crew members out to the gold mine. And you can unload them here like that. Now. Let's say Red also delivered their crew member. As soon as there are three crew members on a gold mine, you have defeated the pirates. So the first thing you do is everyone gets two gold. Okay. Next thing you want to do is over here on this mission card, each person that helped defeat, so red and blue, will move ahead one spot. So it was blue's turn, so blue would go first, followed by red. Now remember, blue's the furthest ahead because they're on the bottom, they would get the victory point as well. So you've now moved up on your mission. Now you need to determine the hero. So both red and blue will roll one die. They will add that number to their crew members. So blue gets six plus two. So I'm at eight. 
and red is four plus one, so they're at five. So blue is determined the hero. That means blue gets to move ahead another space on the mission card. And unfortunately, blue also loses a crew member. But that's all right. Once the hero has been determined, now that that token has been flipped over, you may build settlements on the gold mine. If a five rolls and you have a settlement there, you get two gold. Now, you can get your crew member off to take them to another pirate layer, pull your ship up, load up your crew member, and away you go. So you can go save them from there after. The other thing that we kind of wanted to show was the pirate ship. So if I roll a seven, I get to place my pirate ship. Now, you cannot place a pirate ship on a sea hex that is adjacent to the main island, but you can place him anywhere else, not on the edges, of course. Now, here comes red. Red is going to go this way, but in order to go on this hex where my pirate ship is, they must pay blue one coin to pass through. The way not to do that, so it was my turn, I placed the pirate ship. Red may roll one die. If it is a six, my pirate would disappear. But it's not so, they owe me one coin to move past. If red rolled a seven, my pirate ship would disappear and red would place their pirate ship wherever they wanted. So now in order for my blue ship to move, I would have to pay red one gold. So I think from here, what we're going to do is we're going to roll to see who is going to place first. I'm going to walk you through the order of that because it's a little bit different than land hope. Blue rolled a three, red rolled a five, and I'm rolling for orange three. So red is going to place first. So again, I'm going to show you on the board what this is going to look like. So red is going to place their harbor settlement with no ship and no settler. Orange will then place his harbor settlement followed by blue. Then blue will place a settlement with no road. And then orange will place a settlement and then red will place a settlement. And then red will place a road and a ship with a settler. There she comes. Okay. Orange will place a road with a ship and a settler. And then blue will place the road and a ship with the settler. Now, of course, the road will go off of the settlement and the ship and the settler, of course, will go off of the harbor settlement. But that is the actual way that you place, um, place your starting pieces. So roads and ships are placed at the very end, which is kind of good because 
you don't have to make up your mind of which direction you're going to go until other people have actually placed their settlements. So it's kind of a neat little change. So again, with the secret islands out here, kind of like fog islands, please watch um, our video of Land Ho on how those are done there. I'm going to move our mission pieces all back to the S. Each player starts with two coin. And we're going to go ahead and set up in this order.
this game. So, blue one, mom one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here on the mission, nine, 10, 11. And then I had the, I was furthest along on the mission, so I got this bonus, which is 12. So that is how you play Scenario 2, the Pirate Layers of the Explorers and Pirates Catan Expansion. A um, little bit longer than Land Ho. So I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, but it did go up to 12 victory points. Uh, so there was a little bit more you needed to get those pirates. Um, Dad didn't do any pirates. And he, you can tell, I mean, his score was quite low. However. No, it was coming up to 10 next turn. Okay, well, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. But he was also making donuts for the family, so I think, so, personally. So, so really? That's every, bonus points. Everybody won. That's bonus points. So, he's kind of the winner in our books. <laughs> so, all right, but that's it. That's all. Keep playing and have fun.